Hi, my name is Mark Leach of Metasynthesis and I am the author of the Chemogenesis webbook. Today I will be talking about Lewis acids, Lewis bases and Lewis acid base interactions. Lewis acids and Lewis bases, a quick reminder. Lewis bases are electron pair donors. Lewis bases react via their highest occupied molecular orbital or HOMO. Lewis bases in the chemogenesis analysis are coloured blue. Lewis acids are electron pair acceptors. Lewis acids react via their lowest unoccupied molecular orbital or LUMO. Lewis acids are coloured red. Lewis acid plus Lewis base gives Lewis acid base complex. Electron pair acceptor plus electron pair donor gives a Lewis acid base complex. A HOMO plus a LUMO gives a bonding molecular orbital or a Lewis acid base complex. The point is that the Lewis acid base concept explains the vast majority of chemistry that school and university students are expected to be familiar with. Electron pair donors, electron pair acceptors, anions, cations, lone pairs, ligands, spectator ions, highest occupied and lowest unoccupied molecular orbitals, nucleophiles, nucleofuges, electrophilic and nucleophilic substitution, acid and base catalyzed elimination, bronxid acidity, proton abstracting bases, adducts, complexes, deals all the cycloaddition, curly arrows and more. No other reaction chemistry is so broad, varied, or how central to how we think about and understand chemical reactivity. The main group elemental hydrides are common species such as water, ammonia, methane, hydrogen chloride, and hydrogen. We can see these present as Lewis acids, Lewis bases, and Lewis acid base complexes. The five hydrogen probe experiments. We're now going to add and remove hydrogen species, H plus and H minus ions and hydrogen radicals from the main group elemental hydrides. So first of all, let's add one or more protons and this generates onium ions, H3 plus, NH4 plus, the ammonium ion, and group one and two metal cations, sodium ion, magnesium ion. Removing H plus gives us anions. We have the hydride ion and main group anions such as methyl anion, nitro anion, hydroxide, fluoride. Adding H minus gives us some complex hydride ions such as the borohydride ion, otherwise known as the tetrahydroborate ion and the equivalent aluminium species. Removing hydride ion gives us the group one and two metal cations again and enium ions such as the carbenium ion and the chlorine cation. Removing hydrogen radical gives us various radical species, such as the methyl radical, the chlorine radical, as well as the metals magnesium and sodium. So the hydrogen probe experiments give us quite a zoo of chemical species. Many of these are Lewis acids and Lewis bases, and these can be organised by type. First, let's look at the Lewis bases. There are four general types of Lewis bases. There are the S-homo Lewis bases, the hydride ion and hydrogen, complex anion Lewis bases, such as the tetrafluoroborate ion, the Loeb-homo Lewis bases. These are the classic lone pair of electron species, such as hydroxide ion and water. And then we have pi-homo Lewis bases. These are electron-rich pi systems, such as the allyl anion and ethene. Lewis acids. There are six types of Lewis acid. First, we have the proton H+. S-lumo Lewis acids, the sodium ion and magnesium ion, etc. Onium ion Lewis acids, such as the ammonium ion and the trimethyl oxonium ion. Loblumo Lewis acids, such as boron trifluoride and carbenium ions. Pilumo Lewis acids, these are electron poor pi systems, uh, the allyl cation. And heavy metal Lewis acids, these are the heavy metals and heavy metal cations, copper and copper ions. Lewis acids react with Lewis bases, so it comes as no surprise that our four types of Lewis base can interact with our six types of Lewis acids, giving rise to 24 types of Lewis acid base interaction chemistry. Let's see how this works. So we take the S-LUMO Lewis acids, the Loeb-HOMO Lewis bases, and this gives rise to type 7 Lewis acid base complexes. 
The S. Lumo Lewis acids include the cations lithium ion, sodium ion, potassium ion. The Loeb Homo Lewis bases include species such as hydroxide ion, nitrano ion, carbon ion. These interact to give us many of the bases of chemistry, such as potassium hydroxide, sodamide, and methyl lithium. Indeed, many of the bases of chemistry are type 7 complexes. We can add real chemical species to our Lewis acid base interaction matrix. For example, hydroxide ion and sodium ion gives rise to sodium hydroxide. Hydride ion and the proton gives rise to hydrogen H2. Complex anion Lewis bases and the proton give rise to George Ola type superacids. Loeb Homo Lewis bases such as the hydroxide ion and metal cations give rise to our classic inorganic complexes. Heavy metal cations and pi homo Lewis bases give rise to pi organometallic chemistry. Pi lumo Lewis acids, pi homo Lewis bases give rise to Diels Alder type cycloaddition chemistry. So we see that many of the chemistries that school and university students are expected to be familiar with can be mapped to the Lewis acid base interaction matrix. There's a full database of Lewis acid base interactions available on the Chemogenesis website. So to sum up, we start with the periodic table, the main group elements, main group elemental hydrides, the five hydrogen probe experiments. Here we find congeneric arrays, six types of Lewis acid, four types of Lewis base, 24 types of Lewis acid base reaction chemistry. Most types of chemical interaction and reaction can be mapped to the Lewis acid base reaction chemistry. Electron pair donors, acceptors, anions, cations, lone pairs, ligands, spectator ions, homos, lumos, nucleophiles, electrophiles, bronxid acidity, proton abstracting bases, Diels order, cycloaddition, etc., 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 can be mapped to the Lewis acid base interaction matrix. Thank you very much.